Number two, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by all his statements regarding government policy? Right hon. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Does he stand by his statement that, quote, the government supports irrigation because, it's, because of its potential for significant economic advantages, end quote, and how does he reconcile that statement with advice from Treasury, which in examining the proposed irrigation schemes came to the conclusion that they generally promise poor to average rates of return? I write hon. Prime Minister. Mr. Mr Speaker, in answer to the first part of the question, yes. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. <clears throat> with reference to his answer to my last supplementary, then how does he reconcile that support with the fact that Treasury advice when analysing irrigation projects came to the conclusion that these projects generally promised poor to average rates of return? Right, hon. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I haven't seen the specific advice that would have been sent to other ministers, but what I can say is that there have certainly been projects where irrigation schemes have made a significant economic difference to New Zealand. And as we know with the South Island, probably one of the fastest ways actually to lift economic growth in the South Island would be to ensure that there is irrigation, huge amount of water uh, that falls on the South Island uh, from snow or rain. Uh, basically pours out to sea. If that was stored, that would allow for greater uh, development of the South Island, as would be true in parts of the east coast of New Zealand. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How could it be economically prudent for a government to spend up to $400 million, is the number that's been floated, to support the irrigation projects that are on the agenda currently, when Treasury analysed the projects, they came to the conclusion that these projects generally promised poor to average rates of return. How could it be economically prudent to support such a project? Right, hon. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, as I said, I haven't seen the specific advice, but uh, what I can say is these projects, and it's important to understand, the government is actually, uh, while it's prepared to put in up to $400 million, it's actually as an equity player, so over time that, that it's expectation that cash would be returned. But if the member really wants to get into following and being a worshipper of Treasury advice, and that would be a great thing if the member decides he wants to do that, then he should go and ask the Treasury what they think of his balmy idea about power. Commentary. <laughs> Order. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given that Treasury came to the conclusion that, and I quote, the farm gate analysis indicates that irrigating the proposed areas would in aggregate constitute a loss-making investment, how can it possibly be economically prudent for the government to put in hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayers' money into a loss-making investment? Right, hon. Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, as I say, I haven't seen specific analysis, but over a long period of time, there's no question, I think, that if there's greater irrigation in parts of New Zealand where uh, there's a shortage of water, that will have a significant impact, not only to the GDP of New Zealand, uh, but overall to the jobs and opportunities. That member, as we now know, is a weekly a weekly host or a weekly participant on the farming show. I know that because David Cunliffe gave them the one finger salute and decided no longer to go order. on the show. This has very, very little to do with the answer not required. Uh, point, of, point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, right honourable, uh, the, sorry, the, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I seek leave to table the Treasury papers. Uh, from the, the Official Information Act request with all the Treasury papers for the Prime Minister's benefit. Leave us sought to table a volume of Treasury papers, I'll take it. Is there any objection to that course of action? There was objection. <laughs> Supplementary, Supplementary question, Supplementary. Dr Russell Norman. Um, thank you, Mr Speaker. With regard to the broader economic effects that the Prime Minister referenced in his answer to the last question, is he aware that in Treasury's analysis of the broader economic effects, what they found was that those broader economic effects rose, princ arose principally from the stimulatory effects of the construction activity. So it was the construction activity alone that brought the, or, um, principally that produced the broader economic effects. And hence, you could construct anything 
and produce those kind of stimulatory effects. Why are you proposing? Order, why, is, why is the minister proposing to spend order. it on these projects? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. <coughs> well, Mr. Speaker, maybe the answer to this question uh, lies in the valuation of a property that has access to water and irrigation. Um, if it is uh, solely of economic benefit to both the farmer and the country in building a irrigation program and not a, a project and not actually using it, then maybe there would be, uh, the member would like to explain why those farms that are irrigated sell for so much more, have so much uh, greater economic productivity. And I think, you know, the member uh, can sit there if he likes uh, and probably misrepresent the Treasury. I don't really know, I haven't read the research, but the bottom line is New Zealand will be well served if it advances uh, irrigation and I encourage the member to go on to the farming show that he now has replaced David Cunliffe on Order. and tell the farmers Order. exactly what he thinks. That's... Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. It, it... Is the Prime Minister honestly trying to tell the House that his approach to economic development is to identify things that, that the Prime Minister would just like to build because he thinks they're good things and regardless of the analysis which is conducted by Treasury whose job it is to analyse these proposals, regardless of that analysis he just happens to like those proposals so he's going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on it. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, let me make this challenge to the member then. We'll go over to the Treasury, we'll give them on a scale of 1 to 10 of how much they dislike these things. If they dislike uh, irrigation more than they dislike his power program, uh, we'll stop our program. But if they dislike his power program more, will he campaign on stopping his? I don't think so. <laughs> Question number three. Honourable... Order. 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 I have called the Honourable Tohanare for question number three. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of